ओके गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो दिस इज द सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर पी एस एस ई एंड बिफोर गोइंग फर्दर लेट जस्ट हैव अ स्मॉल रिकेप ऑफ वॉट वी हैव डन लास्ट टाइम सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सन अबाउट अ क्विक ओवर व्यू ऑफ दिस जी यू आई ऑफ पी एस एस ई एंड सेकेंडली लाइक इफ वी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म लोड फ्लो स्टडीज how to enter a data and uh, what kind of options are available for load flow that's what we have uh, uh, seen last time so just for a small recap that uh, uh, when you are entering a network data i mean for a load flow uh, this network data tab uh, here you have to enter uh, a data and uh, the sequence is in a way that first you have to always first you have to add bus bus data as you can see here and once you have added bus then you can add subsequent component like uh, a machine load then uh, if there is a sunt switch sunt fix sunt then uh, branches in in branch uh, ac lines or transformer then two winding three winding transformers or if you have hvdc vsc hvdc or multi terminal hvdc all those things you can you can add here but uh, first you have to add bus and then only you can add uh, subsequent component so uh, there are multiple ways i mean just uh, just to recap there are multiple ways to uh, add data here the one is uh, as you can see here you can just uh, create a new line here a new entry here and then just keep on adding uh, whatever data you have here there is a one way another way is the sld that if you how uh, let's say bus number 11 if you generate that bus display uh, it will it will come yeah so here also uh, here in the in the sld single line diagram uh, in a graphical way also you can add the data uh, you just have to pick it from here and connect it uh, whatever you like to connect whatever component you like to connect this is another way one more way uh, of doing the same is uh, since uh, it accept dot row file dot raw dot row file uh, which is a text file so uh, one can enter whatever data uh, one like to enter here in the in this text file and uh, there is one more way to add the data that is uh, since this is the uh, like an excel sheet so if you have data in excel or any tabular form so you can just copy uh, the data from there and you can just paste it here that is also one uh, way i mean this is very useful when you have a big network uh, data to enter so all those uh, all the second and third option are very uh, helpful to enter data there okay so once you enter the data now to perform the load flow here you have uh, uh, or a power flow the power flow ta uh, uh, tab is there so you just have to select solution in the parameter tab you can select different parameters for uh, which which are, which are uh, used uh, to solve the load uh, power flow and uh, for different methods different parameters are there so you can tweak it here you can change it uh, according to your setting and once it is finalized here in the sol you uh, so many options are there so first you have to select the solution method then uh, uh, what what kind of uh, tab settings you want to select a uh, log tab or maybe uh, a tab can be like adjustable tab then you want a flat start or uh, from wherever you are so do not flat start so those options are there and var limit also like apply automatically or apply immediately now automatically immediately what is the difference between this ignore or apply at particular iteration so all the details you can find in the documentation but uh, uh, there are uh, many more options also available uh, which one can further explore okay so we are right now going with the default setting and uh, once we hit this solve it solves the load flow and give the summary of our swing bus uh, one question was arise last time that like uh, if you want some further data from where to get it so uh, here itself in the in the report tab uh, you can get so uh, i mean multiple uh, you can generate multiple reports you can uh, you can display it here as well as save it in uh, into some text file and later uh, analyze it so 
uh, in this report there you can sa save multiple uh, data and multiple analysis here itself okay so uh, let's go back to our original uh, uh, system our example system which is this uh, uh, kundur's four machine two area uh, power system so this is what we are trying to simulate so first task we did is uh, we perform the load flow for the system and uh, got very matching result i mean uh, as you can see this p gen and q gen of a swing bus which is uh, generator 3 is matching with uh, uh, what is given there in the in the in the textbook so our uh, load flow is converged and it is uh, uh, near to or similar to what is given here okay so that first task is over now a second task is that uh, we just don't want to stop there we want to perform the phasor domain simulation uh, out of it we want to simulate for a fault we want to simulate for a different disturbance and we want to if we, if we if we if we desire to study the uh, low frequency oscillations of the system so for that also the uh, pssc is useful and uh, it is having uh, dynamic simulation functionality as well before going to it uh, i'll just i mean uh, a quick summary like uh, if we want to perform a simulation of on this system what what kind of information we required and uh, what kind of steps we, we should take to simulate the system so uh, first of all uh, the load flow is the first starting point uh, i mean to simulate uh, this kind of system first thing we need to do is to load flow so that we already done second thing is the dynamic uh, now uh, all the generators and loads and line and everything so they involve some dynamics so we have to provide dynamic data associated with uh, uh, other equipments so that is one thing once we provide dynamic data dynamic data what i mean uh, what i mean dynamic data means uh, there are some uh, time constants are there there are some limits are there there are some uh, equation uh, parameters are there so all those parameters all those data we have to enter and uh, in phasor domain simulation all those equations basic equations are uh, basically differential algebraic equation form so uh, before going forward i mean before actually starting the simulation we have to initialize uh, all those uh, integrators or uh, we have to find the initial condition of all the uh, integrator blocks so that is called initialization process so that we have to perform okay so the uh, those are the steps. Once we done with the initialization, once we get the all initial condition proper, then we can start simulating. Then we can apply disturbance and, and uh, see how, how how things are going. So uh, now I'll, I'll uh, the, I mean this is the over, uh, overall process. So let's go uh, one by one. So we already have load flow uh, data here. Next task uh, we have is before going. I mean now what I am saying is this is the steps. Uh, associated with PSSE only, I mean different softwares, uh, there are different ways of doing it. The basic idea is the same, that first you have to enter the load flow data, solve it, then initialize the uh, uh, all the integrator and then you have to run the simulation. But uh, here in PSSE, to go into uh, dynamic simulation, first we have to convert this generator and load models. So, uh, as you can see here in the load tab, we have given constant power load. This is a P load and Q load. Okay, so both the load are constant power load. But in actual simulation, uh, we want uh, a zip kind of load modeling. So, zip means like constant impedance, per some certain percentage of constant impedance loads, or certain percentage of constant power loads, or some certain percentage of constant uh current load so first we have to convert it so that is what here is convert load and generator so after performing load flow this is our second step that we have to convert loads and generators now uh, which option to choose here like use z source use fault analysis uh, x double days and all it depends on application to application as i said like uh, yeah, it also uh, it can also do uh, short circuit. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, it also do 
short circuit studies and other harmonic studies. So based on the study, we have to choose appropriate option. But uh, for a simple dynamical uh, dynamic simulation, we have to choose this first option that use Z source, the default one, uh, while converting the generators. Converting the loads. Here we have option to uh, give like how much per uh, how much percentage of load we want as a constant current or constant impedance or constant power. So for our simulation, we are giving 100% constant admittance load. Fine. So active power also 100% constant admittance, reactive power also 100% constant admittance. And convert. So the moment we convert it, you can observe here in this Y load that appropriate load are now uh, existed here in the Y load tab. Fine. Previously it was here in, in P load, Q load and since we uh, give as a constant admittance load, so it, it came here. I mean appropriate value came here. Okay. So that task is over. Now we have to enter the dynamic data. Uh, when I am seeing dynamic data, uh, what dynamic data? This is the generator uh, dynamic data. So uh, now here, when you are seeing generator, uh, different kind of modelings are there based on the application, based on the availability of data and based on the generator. I mean, uh, it, it could be a steam generator, it could be a hydro generator, it could be a smaller unit, it, it could be a bigger unit. So uh, based on all those uh, parameters and based on our uh, study requirement, uh, we have to select a particular model, like what kind of model uh, we, are, we are going to require and what kind of model we are, we are going to use. Fine. So uh, let's talk, I mean, uh, let's talk about this example here. So uh, this much data is given to us. Now this data we have to enter into that PSSE. Fine. So first we have to see like, uh, uh, how to enter it, where to enter it. So in PSSE, we first have to open the dynamic tree. Fine. In the dynamic tree, as you can see, we have machines. Four, since uh, in load flow, we already uh, given that we have four machines in dynamic tree, automatically four machines are there. Wait. So if you go to that machine tab, you see here dynamic data tab is open and it automatically took the MVA base from the network data. So uh, whenever there is a gray part, it means it is the data is already taken from somewhere else. You cannot edit it here. It's just for your visualization and uh, whatever this wide area you are seeing, that is that it is, it, it can be edit here. It, it is editable here. Fine. So this uh, we have in the network data we have already given four generators, and here we have given this MBA base, M base in MBA. So it displaying here that this particular generator have, having the M machine base of 900 MBA. Fine. Now for machine one, uh, what are the uh, equipments or apparatus are there of a generator? Of, of a synchronous generator that is first is generator itself second uh, uh, there might be a exciter there is going to be an exciter third uh, along with exciter there might be a PSS so first is generator then there is exciter then turbine governor system then stabilizer means uh, PSS power system stabilizer now this mean exciter, max exciter, they are some some of the additional component. I mean, uh, if we have the data, if you want to model, we can model it here. Fine. So for one generator, uh, all those components we can add here. Now if you if you uh, just click here, you can see the generator models. So many models are there. Now which one to choose and uh, how to choose it? So for that we have to uh, go to the model model library itself. So here I have already opened the model library. So let me just uh, go back from the start. So generator models. So all uh, these are all uh, models available in PSSE. 
if we, uh, our model or if we want uh, a user defined model that option is also available but we are not uh, going through it right now we are just using the existing uh, our default model available in in in, in pssc okay but uh, what kind of model uh, uh, we want that depends i mean that that require uh, a bit of uh, knowledge about uh, system itself so uh, i mean here this system just by looking at the data uh, if you can say that okay this uh, this seems to be a, a steam turbine a, a, a steam generator or a, or a hydro generator so if you can say that appropriately we can select the model here what kind of data what kind of available data he, uh, we have here let's say we don't have any data we just have uh, we just want to model a synchronous machine as a as a voltage source behind a reactance a simplest model if you want to do that can we do it in pssc so yes we can do it from there to very detailed modeling we can do fine so uh, one if if we have to select we just have to go through all the models and see which model fits best for our application for which model we have the all the data so this is epri uh, battery storage model and block diagrams are also given like uh, as and when it is there and this is american superconductor uh, some device model is there uh, then third order complex generator model so again as as i said like all those models are there we have to select whichever uh, suits best for our application for our purpose fine uh, the simplest model which uh, i'll just show you in a minute ah gen cls this is the simplest model all we have to give is the inertia constant h and damping constant d that's all it requires no other data is required it model a generator as a reactance behind a, a, a voltage source constant internal voltage generator model fine this is the simplest one if we don't have any data or very minimalistic data only we have h parameter this we can use fine but for our application and for for example we have here this is uh, now i'm telling you you just believe that uh, what i'm, I'm saying is correct so this is a uh, Uh, steam generator data so and a round rotor generator model so this we uh, for this model we have all the parameter available i mean uh, all the data will fits with this model okay so we will choose this particular model gen roe there is one more model gen rou what's the difference here saturation is in exponential form here saturation is in quadratic form now uh, what what is the difference between uh, uh, exponential form or uh, quadratic form and all uh, one can refer uh, power system stability and control uh, book by kundur uh, it is given very well uh, as well as some other textbook i mean uh, whatever book you prefer but uh, it's the same model uh, except for the saturation parameters fine everything else is same okay so why we are going to use this exponential model because here we have given uh, in the exp- uh, this data saturation data uh, 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 with uh, the we have is given in exponential form so uh, i'll just uh, i'll just show you this is just a snapshot from uh, kundur suga huh? again so uh, one can refer this equation 3.187 3.189 so what kst given here is the such a uh, saturation factor and this a saturation b saturation that is what given that is what given here fine but we have to enter this s 1.0 s 1.1 i'll I'll come, i'll come back to this again but what i'm saying that we are going to use this particular model fine so let me select that model here okay now we have to enter the data so here as you can see before entering anything you see some of them is red some of them is yellow and some of them is just white fine so what is the meaning the red what you are seeing that is error means you have to resolve it 
it otherwise it will not give you correct answer fine so red how to resolve yellow what you are seeing yellow means there is a warning warning they are giving based on a certain algorithm certain uh, range they are having let's say a particular mva generator the h value should not be more than this should not be less than this that kind of algorithm they are having so uh, i'm i'm not sure like uh, what are the criteria uh, here i mean the exact criteria like how they are deciding is a warning or is an error but uh, one can further look into documentation and uh, explore but uh, basically this yellow what you are seeing is the warning red what you are seeing is the error so error you have to solve warning you can recheck you can just reconfirm that whatever you have typed is correct or not and whatever white it means it is within the range it seems okay okay so uh, let's just uh, uh, let's let's enter data one by one so first data we have here is xd that is 1.8 so here xd 1.8 fine then xq 1.7 xd dash 0.3 xq dash 0.55 xd double dash is equal to xq double dash is equal to 0.25 xl 0.2 fine now this i'll come uh, after some time now td0 dash 8 td0 double dash 0.03 tq0 dash 0.4 and tq0 double dash 0.05 fine okay Ah, H is there. H is six point five for generator one and two, and six point one seven five for three and four. So now uh, we are right now entering gen for generator one. So it is six point five, and D is zero. Okay. Okay. Now uh, it is uh, now let's come to the saturation one. So saturation we have to calculate. I mean here we have to give uh, the saturation factor. Uh, when psi at is 1.0 and 1.2, so that we have to calculate. We have to calculate from this formula. Fine. Now A saturated and B saturated is already given to us. So uh, let's just uh, do do it quickly. I mean, uh, uh, not necessarily that every time you have to do it. Sometimes. Uh, If you are already uh, have the data of S 1.0 as 1.2, you can directly add it. If not, then uh, it it might be given in some other form. So this you can this you can enter A by 9.6. Okay. So first we have to find psi i that is A saturated. Into e raised to b saturated psi a t minus psi t i uh, t one. So that is already given here. That psi t one is point nine, and psi a t is one. I mean that is uh, that uh, that's where we want that value at at one at one. Fine. So a into e raised to b into zero point one. I mean one minus point nine. This zero point one. So this is the value uh, of psi i. And psi a t is one. So what we have to do to get it k one is equal to one divided by one plus psi. So point nine six two three. This is what. We have to enter here. Fine. And now for second one, same process.
जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट नाइन वन ओके सो वी हैव एडेड फॉर जनरेटर जनरेटर वन आई मीन मशीन वन वी हैव एडेड डेटा नाउ वी कैन जस्ट सिंपली कॉपी पेस्ट दिस डेटा टू ऑल दी अदर जनरेटर्स वी जस्ट हैव टू सिंपली कंट्रोल सी कंट्रोल वी एंड डन अगेन कंट्रोल वी डन कंट्रोल वी डन फाइन नाउ फ्यू थिंग्स नीड्स टू बी रिक्वायर्ड केयरफुल अटेंशन द फर्स्ट थिंग इज all the data given here it was written that uh, each uh, the each it, it generator all this data is given as given as a rated mva and the kv base so what is the mva and kv base this data is in per unit with the mva base of 900 and kv base of 20 fine so here also in our model we just have to ensure that our kv base and mva base is the same so mva base as a, a, as a, we have already seen that it is 900 so mva base is same and kva base is also 20 so kva base is also same so that is why we uh, 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 we have enter as it is if our base value is different then we just have to convert it appro uh, appropriately with the new base and then enter it here fine now for generator 3 and 4 this new h value we have to enter 6.175 Okay, so all four generator we have added. Now, just after adding generator, uh, we are ready to go for a simulation. But before going into simulation, let's just have uh, let's have uh, add the exciter as well. Fine. So here again in, uh, from the same uh, example, a simplest exciter model uh, that is static exciter model, thyristor based static exciter model. Uh, which uh, which can be modeled simply just by uh, k upon 1 plus st so we have only two thing again and a time constant and done fine so same process we have to do it again that uh, we have to first go into the exciter model now this many excitation models are there and we have to select appropriate model for our study fine so uh, i have gone through it and i already know that uh, the simplest model available here is the simplified excitation system a simple a, a single lead leg block and a transfer function k upon 1 plus uh, uh, 1 plus st e the simplest one fine so uh, For generator one, we'll use this. For generator two, we'll see what to use. Fine. So for generator one, here again, if we if we do not want to use this uh, uh, lead leg block, what we can give? We can give uh, T A by T B same. That is one. it means pole zero cancellation so that effect the effect of that uh, transfer function will not be there now whatever value of tv will put it will not matter because ta by tb is one so it's the same so one uh, so it, it just cancel out k uh, is given 200 t is 0.01 e mean or uh, efd mean whatever you call it that is minus 6 and max is 6 Okay. Eight per unit. Ha, eight per unit. Again, yes, yes, yes. Yes. All the data per unit on EFD base. Fine. Okay. Yes. Correct. And this gain K is that is also per unit by per unit. Unit of gain K here because this is also in per unit. This is also in per unit. So it's per unit by per unit gain. Fine. Okay. So that is one thing. But uh, what if let's say uh, we want to add this particular exciter, self excited DC exciter, and we have this kind of data. Fine. So uh, we just have to uh, uh, have to go through the manual, the model available, and select the appropriate model 
for uh, uh, for our study i mean the what kind of data we have what kind of model we have so here the self excited dc exciter which is given in figure 8.40 so let me just open it again this is a snapshot of uh, the kundur's book so this is that uh, figure 8.40 this is i triple e type dc 1a excitation system fine and all the data are available for this model this k a t a t e k f fine so this we have to enter but first you have to find now uh, we have identified that this, this is uh, the model this is the data now we have to look for the similar or a same model in the model library so one thing is is a dc 1a it's a it's a type uh, dc 1a exciter so this is the keyword we should look for first i mean the excitation system dc this is dc 1c not not that we want this is the one es dc 1a fine so uh, yes this is that model so this also we can add for the just just right now just uh, to save some time i'm not going to add this right now but uh, this is the way i mean this is how one can proceed at whatever data you have you can find uh, for the diagram of it then you can just explore the uh, model library available here and find the what what uh, 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 whichever is the closest match with your uh, data and then you can use it fine so if you want to enter this particular model this is the way to go this this is the uh, the the best fit uh, and exactly exact fit the dc1 exciter system we just have to select the uh, esdc1 here and you have to enter the data all the data are already available in in the kundur book all the data are available here fine but uh, uh, right now we'll just go with the, the uh, simplest model uh, which is this uh, thyristor excitation model so fine okay so now data entry is done now uh, our task is to perform the simulation again uh, you might be familiar with uh, doing simulation in some different software so here it might be a, 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 a slight it might be slightly different okay so again uh, it it's it's just a steps which you uh, which you have to just remember so basic steps involves i mean here uh, when you are performing a dynamic simulation it is like you are actually going through the process fine so uh, let's say uh, once you uh, once you done with the load flow one uh, the first thing you have to do is to initialize and so that is the first step we have to take here so let's 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 go there so in simulation in dynamic tab in a simulation tab you have to uh, first select perform simulation fine so here we have to select like in uh, we also have to save the output data somewhere so here we have to give that file name fine but uh, again the question arises like what kind of data you want to want to share like uh, once we simulate it what we want what we like to see what we like to visualize what we like to store what kind of data we like to store okay so for that we first have to add the channel here they call channel setup wizard channel or basically data so what data we want so uh, this is the channel setup wizard and uh, here we have to select let's say we want to see a uh, only the voltage of particular uh, bus so this is how we can give like uh, here we can give a bus number and only the voltage or let's say we want to see voltage and angle both we want to see power flow in some line so all i am saying is that here you have to select whatever you, uh, you have uh, selected here only that quantity is being stored everything is being simulated but only this quantities are being stored somewhere for later visualization later analysis fine so uh, let's give basic 
all buses let's see uh, 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 let's see it for all buses voltage and flow p and q flow both and these are some basic quantities of of a generator so we'll like to see everything fine so let go and done so here you can see this uh, message arise like next available address this this is and here in the data again in a dynamic data and the last data you can see this channel so this many data uh, points i mean uh, this many variables are there for later visualization fine okay now let's go to the initialization process so here we have to give some name uh, let's just say test one save so first thing we have to do is initialize so we hit it and you see we, we uh, initialization process is not complete uh, what kind of message we are having here initial condition suspect okay why it will uh, why, it, uh, uh, why this error the the reason behind this error is that there is some uh, mistake or there is some error while entering the data fine so we just have to uh, debug it like where we where we made made that mistake and what kind of mistake it is okay uh, it is uh, i mean if i have to uh, okay this part i'll i'll just uh, i'll just i'll just keep it for right now i'll just explain it with a, with a particular example uh, that how to debug uh, if you having this kind of condition like initial condition suspect what it mean at the end is that our initialization process is not completely okay fine so the error could be anywhere fine so uh, we have to we have to debug it i mean uh, currently it is showing that it is at at uh, uh, generator 4 or say at, at bus 4 in the model gen row but what it is that will that will see later but let's just go back to our model in in the in the device in in general model you see there are multiple yellow flags fine so uh, this flag we can do nothing about it this is the data we have already have so it's 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 uh, nothing in our hand this is what we have so it's okay to have this here xt this is also the data which we have but uh, uh, for this particular error uh, i know why it is coming so i'll just show it to you here xd dash xd double dash you know why, while converting the generator we also given that z source while converting the generator we modeled or convert generator as a z source fine so what that z source is in the network in the machine if you if you open any uh, uh, data of any generator you see here this x source means r plus x is z source basically so here it is given 0 0.0001 okay so if we just replace it with xt double dash that is 0.25 okay same thing we will do for uh, all the machines okay now if we come back here you see that that particular uh, warning is now not coming okay so that one warning uh, we have resolved now there is one more warning here so either we uh, we have entered wrong data uh, so it could be a calculation error somewhere or it could also mean that we have selected some wrong model also fine so anything anything is possible here i mean uh, both the both both are the possibility so for just for time being let's just ignore it so that is one sorry uh, zero zero
Okay, anyway, let's just keep it zero zero right now for a time being. Okay, and let's just reinitialize. I mean, that initialize process will 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 perform again. Okay, now this time there are more suspect. Means uh, uh, whatever we have done, that is that is still not correct. Fine. So let's just change the model itself. Or uh, let's add this A and B. Whatever we have given. Uh, here yeah, let's just add that directly that is 0 0.015 and See, I mean, uh, uh, there, there must be some error while uh, while doing multiple tasks, maybe here. Uh, previously, I have selected uh, this test one, but then I have created a new file. So that solves the uh, problem. But initial, at the end, what it should come like this initial condition check OK. Now, this is the message which one should, you, one should look for. Once this message is uh, come, it means uh, whatever data you have entered, it is within the limit of its okay, appropriate data is there and it's initialized. Fine. After initialization, we have to perform the simulation. So let's say we want to uh, simulate it for uh, 10 seconds and we want to give a fault, a bus fault at one second. Okay, so now we have to go sequentially. The first sequence that is, uh, we let, uh, let's simulate for one second. I mean, till one second, we just have to do a plain simulation. So we will uh, give run to one, run to one second. This uh, here unit is one, so one second. So run. Now it is simulating. If you don't want to see so many messages here, what you can do, you can just uh, uh, print at every 
thousand. So it will not print this many things here. It will still simulate. It will still store the data, but not print everything here. Fine. It will still write, but not uh, print here. Now at one. Now we reach at one second. Now we want to apply a fault. So in a dynamics, in a disturbance, and here bus fault. So we have to select bus fault. We have to select the bus. Let's say at bus five, uh, which is here. Let's apply a fault at bus five. So at bus five. Now in a fault, we can apply uh, based on MVA or based on uh, the parameter. Let's say we have impedance. Or admittance. So based on the impedance or admittance or MVA, we can apply the fault. But this is more like a bolted fault. The default one is like a bolted fault. So let's apply a bolted fault. The fault is applied. Fine. Now fault we want to apply for 10. Oh sorry, 100 millisecond. That is 0.1 second. So uh, let us run for 0.1. Fine. And again run. Now we want to clear the fault again in dynamics disturbance clear fault. We have to select uh, if we have given multiple faults, we just have to select which one to remove. So this is the fault we have given. We'll remove it. So fault removed. Now let's simulate it for 10 seconds and done. Fine and close. So our 10 second simulation is done. So this is the procedure. First we have to I mean, in whichever in whichever sequence we want to perform, that sequence we have to give here manually one by one. Fine. There is another uh, uh, way of doing the same thing is there, but that we'll see in the next module. But uh, uh, like how to automate this? I mean, every time let's say if you want to give a complex situations and you have to do multiple settings here and there, every time just clicking this in this in this, it will take long time. So to save some time, uh, there is automation facilities also available, uh, where we can write a code first, uh, which includes all these steps, and we just have to run it, hit it once, and it will do all the steps. That we will see in the next module. Fine. So now simulation is done, but we have to see the data. Okay. So here uh, in PSSC, uh, we just have to open. I mean, uh, as you remember that we have saved it into some file. So that file is this test to dot out dot out format is uh, it's a binary format and that is to store the data. Okay, so this is the test to uh, we have open it. It will come here. Okay. In the view, we have to select plot tree. If it is not there, plot tree. So remember, I mean. Uh, We have uh, uh, for different tasks. We are working on different uh, trees. So first is network tree, uh, which is for network data, all the bus, machine, everything. Then there is a dynamic tree, where we have given dynamic data of the machine or other equipments as well. Fine. Then there is a plot tree to visualize the plot data. So this is plot book, and this is this test two, and this is all the data. All the channels which we have stored, I mean, selected previously. So now, whichever we want to uh, visualize, we just have to select it and paste it here. Same way, fine. So this is one. Now, if we want to add more, we have to just have to insert page. New page is there. We have to let's say a speed. It's done. Fine. So after a fall, there is some. Transient and settles down after some time. Fine. In the same plot, we can have uh, uh, multiple plots in the same window, like that. All four machine, and it's not a, uh, the y-axis is not same for all. You see this for this red one, this is the y-axis. For this green one, this is the y-axis, and it's not perfectly aligned. So there are some option here in the properties you can do this alignment, but uh, a plotting functionality in PSSC is not that easy. I mean uh, to to get a proper plots and all, it's not that easy and intuitive. So uh, wh what one can do is that one can export this data somewhere, 
just if we just right click it we can, we have the option to export it to excel fine and there we can plot it in any of the familiar software like gnu plot or python or matlab octave scilab wherever we like to plot it so we just have to uh, export this data to somewhere else and plot it there or we can just visually uh, inspect uh, uh, analyze it here as well fine so this is one of, one of the option this is the default of uh, uh, plotting they have with this software okay so let me just quickly summarize things first we have to enter the network data then we have to perform the load flow then we have to convert this loads and generators appropriately then we have to enter the dynamic data once we enter the dynamic data in the dynamic simulation first we have to initialize it and then we have to give the sequence like run it up to 1 second then apply fault then after in faulty condition run 400 millisecond then clear the fault and again run for certain second so all these things we can uh, we have to give here now one might wonder like what are the what about the, the parameters what about the solvers what about the time step of simulation so all those things is given in the uh, solution parameter so this delta t del, del t what you are seeing this is our default time step we can change it fine so we can give a uh, 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 particular whatever time step uh, with whatever uh, time step we like to give there is some interest and i mean uh, since at every time step it is also solving some network fine this is how it it solves so uh, when it is solving a network it it i mean it's a non linear uh, 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 set of equations to to solve it it's using iterative method so uh, there are some parameters for it like how many iterations you want i mean the max iteration limit and what is the tolerance limit of at every iteration so these parameters also you can set fine uh, one more thing uh, here as you see in a in a channel set of wizard you are seeing only this option but what about let's say you want to uh, see some state internal state of uh, of of uh, machine or maybe internal state of any equipment exciter or machine or something let's say you want to see that cd or let's say uh, uh, sorry not cd cif if you want to see a cif or cid or something how can you see it whether whether that option is available or not so for that again we first we have to go to this model library with every model you can uh, there are three sets of parameters one is cons another is states and third one is vars so apart from the default channel you can select this state so only this thing you can monitor you can save or a variable this vars what you are seeing this also you can uh, plot i mean you can save but nothing apart from this so uh, let's say for a generator model i'll just take uh, i'll just uh, summarize in a minute or two okay here in generator these six states are there so we can see we can monitor only these six states nothing more than that fine and that's all so i mean uh, uh, that is also uh, you can consider it as a option or limitation whatever you like to call it but uh, in pssc we don't have access to each and every point we have access to only limited points and uh, that is states and variables so that we can uh, give as a output fine now how to select it that is a bit uh, uh, bit involved i mean that also involve a particular steps let's say of generator uh, let's say you want to see a speed or this uh, psi kq of generator 3 how to select it how to where to give it that is uh, that is also involve some steps that uh, either we'll see offline or maybe next uh, in, in next module we'll see it fine but these are the only option we have so this is very uh, basic summary there are so many points are there to cover there are so many 
things which needs to be checked by the user and all the details you can explore in the in the manual in the model library in the manual uh, for for further reading i mean uh, what i have shown you is i just have a simple generator but there could be excel is uh, pss all those things might be there fine so all those things one can look for in the uh, in the manual and uh, if uh, you have any doubts you can you can come to us we'll and then we'll explore together okay uh, that that's it for uh, today's session in the in the next part we'll uh, try to uh, uh, see some of the options like how to uh, plot or how to select a particular state a particular variable what are the structures what 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 are what are the structures are there in the pssc so that is one thing and uh, one more thing is that is short circuit analysis so we'll just have a, a, a brief overview of it next time and uh, then we'll switch to another software fine okay thank you ah uh, yeah if anyone have any doubt question or doubt